Hello everyone, it's Rita and thank you for stopping by my channel and maybe crafting with me. Um, my desk is a mess because I just um, can't get it cleaned up because I've got a couple projects going on and so you know how it goes. Anyway, um, I'm going to show you how to make this little um, fold up, um, I guess, ephemera holder or envelopes. Um, this is the way it was intended to be made. I'm going to change it though because I need it to fit in my um, journal, which is I'm going to put it in the Edith Holden. This is just a sample, but I'm going to put it in one of these spots here, this side or the other side, because I wanted like three little pockets to go in there. And um, so I think that'll this little pocket will work. I saw this um, done on um, Paper Outpost, I think it is. And um, so I'm going to show you this part first so you can see what, what we're planning here or what I'm planning. So this is the little pot. I didn't glue anything yet. This is the little pockets that are inside of this. But what I wanted was these to go down. Let me show you here. I always get ahead of myself. Um, I wanted pockets to go down the inside of this. Actually, I could just use two pockets. I mean, we're not gonna have this part. It would be just um, a couple pockets there. Hmm. Well, I'll decide on that when I get to it. Okay, so that's what that is. And then this just wraps around and ties at the bottom end. It's very cute. I really like it. And it's pretty easy to do. Um, okay, so let me give you this diagram here. And if you can, you can um, screenshot it if you want. But basically, we're going to score at 4 inches and 8 inches. Now, if you want to make this smaller, which is what I did, but then I cut them apart like this. I made some small ones. Uh, this was 9 by 9. So there, you, you know, you need to do 3, 6. I think it's, yeah, 9 by 9 it would be 3 and 6. But I tried to divide it by... Um, three by eight or eight and a half and it's just almost impossible for me to figure out if you can figure it out then great but anyway so we're gonna score at four and eight okay and then we're gonna turn this this way and we're gonna score at four and eight so basically you're getting four by four inch you know squares across nine nine squares um, this one I was just using as a test so uh, if you need to um, take a picture and then here we're going to cut down these lines here on this one and on this one uh, here okay and then I will show you how I'm going to do that I don't know if I can write it so that it makes sense but Think of it as like a shape of a Christmas tree. That's what you want at the top. You want it to be facing like this. Okay? And then if your paper is... Um, uh, I can't think of the word. Directional. You know, you may want to figure out... After you watch this video, you can see. Figure out how you want it to, to look. All right, so I'm going to set that to the side. I hope, did everybody get a picture of that? I don't know how long it takes to, can you get the whole, yeah, there you go. All right, so hopefully you got it. If not, um, let me know and I'll do it again. All right, so I'm going to use this paper. I coffee dyed this. Now, honestly, I don't know which way it's going to turn out. I am so bad at trying to figure everything out so I thought I think this is the top and I think that's where I need to start okay this was in my stash but I thought it looked nice with the um, the Edith Holden colors of this journal 
Okay. And my paper, I coffee dyed it, and it's kind of wrinkly. Let me find a scoring tool. So, now this doesn't have to be double-sided, but if you wanted to, double-sided would look good, I think. And this paper also is uh, pretty weak or thin or, you know, it's not, not a, a very good quality of scrapbook paper. But it's very colorful. It's got some great designs in it. Okay, so we're going to do that. That's four and eight. Then we turned it uh, like one quarter of a turn. And then go four and eight. Okay. So I, I'm going to set this to the side for a minute because... Um, all right, so then fold your score lines so you can see them. So now we're going to put those lines in. So um, you need to grab a ruler and you're going to go from, I, you probably, I wonder if I can ink that real quick. Let me just um, see if, um, I don't think this probably will show. Might. Right. Just want you to be able to see where the where I'm going to be draw, drawing the lines. Okay, okay. And this is going to be my top. So I want that Christmas tree effect. Okay, so we're going to draw from this point to this point, like this, okay, and then from here to here, from corner to corner. Now she did hers a little, well, this part she did the same, I don't, I don't know what her name is. Okay, and then... I want to go in the same direction as this side down. That's what first confused me. I was like, I, you know, it's like people flip their stuff around when they're showing it in a video. And it's, then you go like, what was that? And you rewind it. Okay. So now I'm going to cut on these lines here up to the point and it wasn't a very straight line So now these are all cut and so this is going to go in this way and this one's going to go in that way but in the first then we're going to I she did it differently and uh, you can go check that out I don't think I cut very straight so what I'm going to do because I want this edge to be nice I don't want it to be um, I want it to be sturdy okay so I'm just gonna cut that off oh and this is the other thing too you may want to score it 
these diagonals. Let's see if I can do that. I'm not quite sure. Only because when I go to fold them, if they're not pretty accurate, then they don't line up as well. It still seems like it's too big there. Okay, and then just put this over and then just score down this one. See, it's not right. I can't get it scored either. Let me just uh, lay the ruler on here. Just do it that way. Yeah, that's better. Okay. So I'm just going to score most of these. See, I'm flipping everything around. I'm sorry. I don't know why I'm doing it on this. It's a little harder to do on that. get this done I'll flip it back so you can see it's kind of an afterthought okay. all right so now that one I already cut off now we're going to um, so everything is folded in this direction down and that makes our Christmas tree okay and then I'm just gonna cut this off here in here if I left this in there it, uh, all of it it would just be too bulky Honestly, can't remember how she, where she cut it, yeah, the triangles off. Okay, let me get my art glitter. So now we're going to glue these this part down. So we'll have a nice. finished edge. The other one I made, I didn't do this. I just cut it down the down the line and I didn't like it that way so that's why I wanted to leave. I hope these all fold together right. <laughs> I thought it was a cool project. I, I, have, I don't think I've ever seen anybody do this. And I think she got the idea from somebody else, too. I don't remember who. That one might be in my way. Okay. Okay, so now, if we're going to... Um, If we're going to make our pockets and make the little folder that I showed you, then you're going to glue these down here, just like that, on each one. So you would glue the base. And I think uh, 
um, I think I liked it like one going that way and then this way and then this way just so they look a little different and then all those things you can um, put ephemera in those let me see if I can straighten this out okay so that would be glued to there so I have to trim this up if I already glued it down okay so I have to make sure we get this level You know, I should have inked these before I put this together, but that's okay. I'm just not going to worry about it because I wasn't thinking. I hope everybody can see this. Does anybody make these things when, <laughs> not just me, but your videos when you watch, you know, every day, the same person or your favorites, that kind of thing? Does anybody just stop and go make them? I've, I've tried and it takes me hours. <laughs> and I want to make everything, you know. I see it and I'm like, oh, I want to make that, but I don't want to make that because somebody just made it. I don't know how long ago this was made. Uh, but when I first saw it, I thought that's what I wanted was three pockets. Okay, now if you were to use this as you want, like this one at the bottom because you want to um, put a tie there. You can put an eyelet uh, and, you know, string or whatever if you want to tie it shut. Okay, so I think that's cute. And so, hey, my words seem like they came up the right way. Good deal. So, uh, the top, when you do your scoring and folding, um, is going the, the correct way. You don't have to worry about it being upside down or anything. This one actually went sideways, and I, I probably didn't even pay attention. But it's fine, so I can read it that way. That's cute. All right, so now... I have no idea what's going to fit in these pockets, but let me show you. Let's go on this one here. It does not fit. And so, um, even my the one I made that is, this one was 9x9. Nine nine. I'm just going to show you where I cut these apart. So my 9x9 nine nine was still... A little too big and um, I couldn't come up with another a smaller um, size that would divide by three equally I even looked online and I couldn't figure it out so so what I've decided to do is I'm gonna cut these I hope this works if not I'll make it again um, I hope I can cut these without them looking bad. Either way, I've got three little pockets here that I didn't have, right? Let's put them somewhere else. Okay. I'll raise this top. Yeah, so they've got a nice edge on them. So I think what I want to do is something like this. Got to get that in there. 
and like that and like that. So I can glue these on the sides and then I'll have the pockets. I'd like to get this above the V because, um, let's see how we could do this. So you can use that as a pocket as well. And then this side as a pocket in here. It's just not as cute as that other part, the other folder, but a little booklet. But it works for what I need it to do. So I'm gonna put that up there a little bit. Now, do I wanna ink? I tried to put these triangles back in, which could be done. Um, but it blends in too much unless I lined it with something else um, what can I line it with hmm I could line it with let me find do I have an Edith Holden page that's just um text. Yeah, this is just text, so let me because it's not even in there. Okay, so... All right. There's probably other ones that are... Maybe... This would work. It doesn't seem... Yeah, either way, the words are going to be cut off. Hmm. Okay. I'm just kind of looking around because I really didn't plan to put something in here. I could put um, some music paper. I don't think I have real handy, but let me see. Um, I don't think I have any. I mean, I have it. It's just I have to get up and go get it. Let me see if there's any in, in my little thing here. Oh my goodness, come on. Is there no music pages in here either? Hmm. Okay, well, I can add that later. I don't think I can ink these. Yeah, let me. I'd like to use this gray. I think I'll just come back with some book pages or something like that. Music. Yeah, let's do the edges too. That's not going to be seen. This one looks like it's the best for the bottom that I cut better. <laughs> I 
even thought, you know, could I cut these down at the bottom? Uh, well, I couldn't because when they're hooked together. So I don't need to do that. I keep doing the part I don't need to do. Next time I'll, I'll put these together. I mean, ink and then glue them down. Okay. Okay, so there and there and there. Now they all fit. Now I just have to get them all glued together without disturbing them. Okay, I think what I'm going to do is just. going to do this one looks like it's a little too okay just turn this upside down so I can glue that top Oh, that's cute. <laughs> the more pockets. Oops. The more pockets you make, the more you got to put in. All right. So, I don't know if I need to glue this all the way down or not. Not really. So if I glue all the back down, I'll just do this. That way... That shouldn't interfere with the slots of the pockets. I gotta go pick up my groceries and oh it's so hard because I'm watching I have to not I can't, oh, stay on the page my goodness I can't have anything that's you know, it's got to be non-fat, and, oh, it's just a real hard, hard to do. So, I've got a lot of fruit and veggies and stuff, and I have to start eating better with that. Okay, so... I like that. I think um, I might just put in here some, probably should have done that first, of course. I'm so always so excited to get it done. I was looking for a tea bag that's already ripped. I was going to say I could just collage it like that a little bit. I think I'm going to have to do a better job of getting these papers um, looking to see if I had hmm. yeah that'd be too easy to rip it up okay so Basically, that's that inside, and I just need to, um, you know, we need to do a lot of stuff here. Uh, putting on more ephemera and cutting some. Now, I, I put a couple pages in here already. Um, I'm going to put some plain sheets in here, too, but I'm not going to make this so thick that you can't close the book properly. This turned out so cute. I love it. And then, oh, I don't know what I did with that. Um, I did some fussy cutting. Oops, let's sit here. There, there it is. No, that's not it. Um, it's another little stray bird. Where is it? Right here. 
I don't know what I'm going to do with this stuff. I just fussy cut it. Yeah. See, they're almost too wide for it. Isn't that cute? I just love it. Okay. So what I'm going to do with this... How much time do I have? Well, I don't want it to be that big around, I don't think. Hmm. Let me try one inch. That's one and a half. Well, I'm going to have to do a smaller one. I'm going to cut too close. I don't know. These darn... See, that was almost too close. Oops. It's hard to tell which way the bird goes. I think it's going that direction. I guess it doesn't really matter. I think that looks good. It looks like it's holding the envelope in its beak. So I'm just going to go halfway on this. There, and that just is going to hold this in. I hope I get this done before winter's over. <laughs> I don't know what I do with my time sometimes. All right, so that that's it for today. And um, I also need something to go in this section. And I don't know, I might uh, do something like a notebook. But... Depends on how many journaling pages I put in here. Then I've got to do um, that one. I think it's coming together though, really. I, did you see me do this? I put this lace on here. I think you did. And then we have a pocket there. And I put this little book here and just a paper clip for now. Um, I think that looks... Okay. Alrighty, so um, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.